Hey guys, it's Sarah from SearchGraph. While using SearchGraph is really awesome for generating optimized content from scratch, you can also use it to optimize existing content. Now, why do you need to optimize existing content? Most times, you always have underperforming content that's not ranking high enough and not bringing in significant traffic to your website. So these contents are untapped opportunities where optimizing them can help you rank better in search engines and drive more traffic to your website. And by using SearchGraph's advanced SEO framework, you can easily optimize your content to cover the three big SEO cornerstones, keywords, silos, and content velocity. There are four methods of optimizing your existing content with SearchGraph. First is using the auto-optimizer. Second is following the SEO suggestions. Third is rewriting the content with Longform AI. And fourth is adding talking points, contextual terms, outbound links, and popular questions. In this video, we'll go over each of these four methods. Before optimizing, you want to first import your content into SearchGraph. To do that, first, in a content writer, head to the Optimize Existing Content tab. Enter your URL, choose your location, language, and enter your target keyword. And then click on Create Document. Once it's ready, click on your document. You'll see that your whole page got imported. You want to pay attention to your content score, which tells you how well optimized your content is. Now, let us go over the four different methods of how to optimize your content and boost its score. The first method is the fastest and easiest method, using the auto optimizer to automatically optimize your content. First, go to the SEO tab and click on auto optimize. Then, you can choose to either accept specific items, or if you want to save time, you can click accept all to automatically apply all items. For a more detailed walkthrough, make sure to check out our how to use the auto optimizer tutorial video. Once you're done, click on exit view and that's it. Now on to the second method, following the SEO suggestions list. So in the SEO tab, you'll see a list of actionable SEO items organized in different categories like title, headings, content, and more. So these items are based on important ranking factors, SEO best practices, and what the top ranking pages are doing. Now, for example, it says that I should include at least two outbound links. And to do that, I'll just head over to the links tab here. And then I'll just highlight anchor text on my content and click add. And then I just need to do another one. And once that's done, you'll see an instant boost in your content score. And also, if you head back to the SEO tab, you'll see that there's check marks next to the items that you've just completed. Of course, you want to try to check off as much items as you can on the list to boost your score as high as possible. Overall, this method is easy, quick, and does minimal changes to your content. Now, let's go over the third method, rewriting your whole content using Longform AI. First, click on Generate Outline here, or just click here to go to the Outline Builder. Then, you can edit the headings here according to your existing content. And once you're done, you can also add more topics if you want to. Then, continue generating the outline. Here, you can check your topic coverage score. If it's not in the excellent range, you can actually add more topics on the right here to boost your topic coverage score. So simply click on Add. And then you'll see that it'll get added at the bottom here. And then you can actually autofill those sections using AI. And then once you're ready, you can go over to start generating your content. Next, you can further optimize your content by going to the SEO tab and following the SEO suggestion checklist as covered in the second method. This method is fast and easy, but just note that it will completely replace your existing content. Now, on to the fourth method, adding talking points, contextual terms, outbound links, and popular questions. This method involves generating a new outline with in-depth details and then adding those details into your existing content. First, click on Generate Outline here or click here to go to the Outline Builder. Then, you can edit these headings here based on your existing content. Then, you can just add more topics that you think your content is missing. And then just generate your outline. 
So the purpose of generating an outline is that you want to get the details here. Talking points, popular question, contextual terms, and frequently linked sites. Next, head straight to the writing tab. You don't want to generate your content because this will completely replace your existing one. Here you'll see your outline on the right side with details you can now include in your content. So the first thing you want to do is add in your new topics. Simply copy and paste and then just reformat it. And then just copy the talking points and paste it. And then highlight that and click expand. Next, you can add other details like popular questions, links, and contextual terms. So it, you can either follow the suggested ones on your outline or you can go over to the specific tabs and add them there. Head over to the link page here and then simply highlight your anchor text and click add. Next, to add contextual terms into your content, go to the contextual terms tab. So what really helps is going to view preferences and checking this box here. So what this does is that it highlights the usage of contextual terms in your content. So this is an easy way to find out whether a contextual term has been used optimally or not. So for example, if it's green, it means that you've used it optimally. And if it's yellow, it means that it's under optimized and you should probably use it more in your content. And red means that it's over optimized and you should probably reduce the usage. Now, if you hover over an item, it will actually show you how many times you use it in your content versus how many times competitors are using it in their content. So to insert a contextual term, simply highlight a specific text or paragraph, click write with terms, and insert your contextual term. And then click replace. So as you can see, it just inserted the contextual term into the highlighted text. And now I've used it two times in my content, which is optimized. So a few things to note is that while this method does minimal changes to your original content, it does require more time and more manual work. Also, regardless of the method you choose, you'll definitely see a boost in your SEO content score. And that's four methods of how to use Searchgraph to optimize existing content to improve their performance on the SERP and drive more traffic to your site. For more tips on how to rank in the top 10 and grow your traffic fast, make sure to watch our other videos. Thanks for watching!